alpine Klettertouren. An alpine climb doesn't finish when you reach the summit. It's not over until you're safely back on the ground, or even better, at home. And if the descent takes you over complex terrain, talus fields, or rappelling slopes, you must be particularly careful. In alpine climbing, rappelling is often not only the quickest way down, but also the only possible way to descend. To make sure nothing happens, it is essential that you concentrate and focus your full attention on what you're doing. When you're ready to set up an anchor for rappelling, the first thing to do is secure yourself. Then you feed the rope through and connect the two ropes with an overhand knot. The overhand knot is the best bend knot because it turns outward on the rock edge and doesn't get stuck. Another important safety measure when rappelling is knots in the end of the rope. The end of each rope is separately knotted using an overhand knot. The rope is then gathered in loops and is best separated into two bunches. Finally, you throw the rope in a high arc over the rock face so that it can stretch out and fall down nicely. Only then can you begin the rappelling process. Before throwing the rope, you should check whether there is anyone below and shout, rope! Then you make a prusik on the rope as fall protection. This requires an approximately half meter long prusik loop. Prusik knots on the rope two or three times around and attach to your harness with a locking carabiner. Finally, you attach the rappel device, the safety device, and pull the rope and the fall protection, in this case the prusik, tight, so that you are hanging in a closed, taut system. Before setting off, you can do a partner check, but everything should already be perfect. The basic position for rappelling is with the legs hip width apart. You walk your legs down with you and shift your center of gravity backwards, meaning you bend slightly at the waist. When looking for the next belay, you should always keep the ends of your rope in view so you can gauge the length. When you've arrived at the end of the pitch, you can also remove the prusik and set up an anchor for rappelling if necessary, or you can clip your personal anchor onto an existing anchor. Only when you're hanging safely do you release the rope. When you've done so, shout, off rappel! And before your partner clips in, check that the rope can still be moved and that it can be removed. If that's the case, the rope partner can rappel. Then they arrive at the anchor. Pull the rope. You just need to know which side the knot is on so that you pull the right one. You can then continue step by step until you arrive at the foot of the wall. Lowering off and rappelling are basic skills needed for alpine climbing. They must be practiced, and when they've been mastered, they are not only the quickest way down, but also the most enjoyable and fun. Spaßigste.